If you like the video, please click like, share it, uh, and if you really like it, subscribe. It should be down here somewhere at the bottom. Are you doing all right? So after the hoo-ha I caused in the last two weeks, um, where I tried to explain myself, and I still feel it's not got through, um, but it's all fun and games. Uh, I've decided to change the subject. Uh, you'll all be pleased to know. Um, and that is to try and demonstrate a shot where you need to hit it harder if you want the white to go less distance. And here it is. Right, so I had to hit it harder and the white not go as far. This is an example of a shot here. So I'm high on the black. I put the yellow there so they want to play again. They think I'm cheating. I don't want to get trolled. And I want to try and get on that red there. So obviously from this position, if I drop the, there's a pace I need to get, hit it to get the black at the hole. The slowest I can hit it, if I just play this with a tracer right or even middle, I would play a tracer right. But dropping it in, it's hard to get on that black, uh, red, if I'm to speak. So I'm going to play this, I'm trying to drop it in. Can't do it. I mean, I could plot it, but you don't on it. So here's the first one. We know spin, look, look, the ball's just rolling. So it just comes straight up the table like that. And that is no good. So I'm using a red. Sorry, not sorry. So now I could play that with, I want to bring the white this way, don't I? So I could play it with quite a lot of right hand side. But the, the, to pot that with quite a bit of right hand side, the pace I've got to hit it, the pace I've got to hit it to get it in, if I use a trace, there's probably not much side left by the time it gets there because of the pace. So I've got to hit a lot, quite a bit of right hand side. But I'm wondering to the, to the amount of right hand side where I'm going to get deflection off the, off the tip. So I've got to allow for that. And it'll feel like I've swerved it if I play it. So I'm going to try and play it now. Hopefully I'll pot it. But I've got to predict that little bit of swerve, that deflection, and then it's just tough, basically. So I'll try and do it dead weight, right hand side. Oh. So here's the one with lots of side. You see there's quite a lot of spin at the start, but by the time it gets there, there's not much left at all. But because of the pace you're playing it, you've got to put that lots on first. And that's really, really tough to judge. Now, I played it well, to be fair. That was a tremendous strike. But it's a tough shot because I saw the white move left and then sort of come back a bit. So this is a table I know like back of my hand. So obviously, it's easy for me to predict that uh, or easier. Um, if you're on different tables, different sets of balls, it'll catch the play best players in the world out because... They're going to move a little bit differently. Um, it can be the weather can make a difference. So to keep making that prediction is tough. So a way you can play it is, I can play it with quite a, a bit of bottom. So what, and then the tracer right. So it's not going to, the white's not going to swerve, right? So that what happens is the bottom is enough bottom so that when it hits that, you're hitting that at a too hard a pace basically to hold the white. When it hits here, that's when the bottom takes, it holds the white up a little bit, kills it, and brings it a little bit wider, and hopefully you come here. Now the benefits of that is that, because I'm not wandering further than a trace, the potting angle is the same. I'm not having to sort of allow for all this deflection and any throw. We don't go down that rab rabbit hole after the last two weeks, do we? So, yes, you can sort of hit it, the angle that you, know, the angle that you sort of know and that you've trained yourself to just learn because of repetition. So there's no sort of, no variables, but or less variables. So you'll play it like that and you'll see what the white does after. And you can get, you can actually pull it up shorter if you hit it well enough. Now after rambling on again, I've got to get this right. Pressure. Let's do it. Trace the right, bottom. And you'll see the pace the red goes in the hole at.
Right, this from this angle, look. You'll see there's a bit of bottom, but it's just skidding by the time it gets to the, the black. And I've put too much on, really. It's brought it a bit too wide and not gone as high. Although I'm on the red, it's not perfect. And I've even old it too much. But you see the pace I hit it? I'll play it again. Try and play it better. But you see how easy it is just to pull it up. I can pull it up so much easier. I'll try it again. I'll try and get on it now. Don't want to miss it. Right. Here we go. This is the perf one. You see, look, the spinning at the start is just going. By the time it gets to the the black, it pulls it up. And that is an absolute dream. So there you go. It's, I, the first one, I hit it too well, basically. Uh, and that one, I've hit right, perfect. But you see the pace of the, the red one to the old. But just a bit more. It's a more positive strike. I mean, some players like to dolly balls in. Um, I personally would rather hit it a little bit with a bit more authority. Again, it's not a hard hit, but I think the main benefits of that is the fact that you're not having to allow for the swerve that you do when you've got loads of side on, which again, like I say, is tough to keep predicting right. I mean, it, yeah, it's impossible to keep doing it all, every time. So it makes that shot a little bit easier as far as the line's concerned. And then, like I say, it's a feel shot. So for me, it's a little bit of squeeze. Uh, with my hand just to feel the white. Apparently not supposed to do that. Lol. Um, you don't have to do it, but to say you did, you can't. You don't have to do it. It's not right. Anyway, so yes, you can see there. I've held the white up. You'll see with my other camera angle what the white does. You on the red? Another max. There you are. Uh, it's you can see that that shot on too high. The spin I'm putting on. Is killing the killing the pace after it's hit the object ball and it brings it a bit wider as well. It's a shot that I use, like I say, use a bit of squeeze on. Um, I just like to feel the white when I when I sort of make contact with it. It's a feel shot. You've got to learn how to play it yourself. It's a shot worth knowing because it will come up. Uh, and uh, it's, like I say, to keep breaks going it is really important. And you can use it at other parts of the table as well, but. Again, as like I say, I use that example because it's a really, really important shot. Um, any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, comment below. Um, and yeah, uh, I will see you soon.